another rabbit video of our rabbit vaccine. Yes, because yesterday we went and we got the vaccine for this disease that's been going around. It's the RHD um, disease. And both Honey and Honeydew, who's in there, just got theirs yesterday. Our vet uh, actually had the vaccine in stock. So, but let me talk a little bit about the rabbit hemorrhagic disease. It's basically been going around for many, many years. Um, Europe definitely has it. And now it um, has appeared in California and especially Southern California uh, this summer. And the crazy thing about this virus is um, if the rabbit gets it, it's literally like instant death. Um, you can read more about, you know, the horrible ways they die, but it's pretty quick. And this disease is actually here to stay because it spreads so easily. Um, it's spread through dogs, insects, birds, rodents, other animals because it doesn't affect them, but it can literally kill rabbits very quickly. And it's been devastating the rabbit population throughout the US right now. And we got our vaccine. Just kind of want to talk about this right here. Uh, we got the vaccine yesterday. And yes, there are side effects and they actually kept both honey and honeydew inside the vet's office for an additional 15 minutes after they got their shot. And our vet was really kind and showed us exactly where they got their shot. It was right there. And they had to prove that they can poop and pee after 15 minutes because that's one of the side effects that um, supposedly only four out of a hundred rabbits will get that side effects. So just to be on the safe side, they kept them for additional 15 minutes to make sure that they can poop and pee afterwards. Otherwise we had to call them and you know ask for help because that is really you know not good for a rabbit that can't poop and pee and waiver form that we had to fill out. So the vaccine is not officially a vaccine. So if you kind of take a look, it's, it's not officially licensed in the US. It's a European vaccine. And um, any vets that decide to actually pursue this route will have to be under a special research and evaluation import permit from the USDA. So I've heard other vets in the area actually got access to this trial vaccine, but it's only good for this year. So the catch to this is there may not be this vaccine for next year. So it was supposed to be an annual vaccine, but the USDA hasn't officially approved it yet. So a lot of rabbit owners are waiting for the USDA to make it official in the US. So currently it's only official in Europe. And even after getting the vaccine, you have to wait at least seven days to actually for it to kick in. So right now this is only day two and we are still definitely observing honey and honeydew to make sure they're okay. But it officially kicks in seven days and I read somewhere that it is good for nine months coverage for sure. So it'll bring, give them some immunity for nine months. I don't know about the whole year, but at least definitely for nine months and then it starts wearing off. Um, but I would rather have them have some vaccine um, than no vaccine, at least for this year. And then we'll wait to see what happens with the USDA after that. But this is the waiver we had to sign. And hopefully this gives you some idea in case you were debating whether to get the vaccine or not, because there are some side effects. If you take a look, the side effects could be lethargy, fever, digestive upset, swelling, um, you know, it's pretty severe side effects. So it's something that you kind of have to decide for yourself to see if that's um, a worthy risk because it is a risk. But we've decided with these two, especially now that the virus is for sure in Southern California, and I know both of them love to run in the backyard, and we have been told that they should be running, and we have completely limited their running only to 30 minutes, because in the past, they used to love running in the backyard for hours and hours, but now they can't. But that's how they get their exercise. And that's why we have really lean, healthy bunny. We always get compliments on our bunnies because they're very lean, they're healthy, they're very muscular because they get plenty of exercise outside. Um, unfortunately, if you look at the rest of our house, it's wood floors. So it's very difficult for them to run on wood floors. So outside is their only way of running. 
Okay, so that's what we thought it would at least give them some protection against this disease because there's plenty of wild birds outside our house all the time and plenty of insects too. So that can carry this disease and bring it to our rabbits. And kind of dog barking. Yeah, dogs and even a mosquito. They said all it takes is one mosquito and then it's over for our bunnies. So mosquitoes can come in the house. I mean, we've been bitten by mosquitoes inside our own house. No, it's only in Cancun. Yeah, we got bitten by Cancun mosquitoes a lot. That's why we decided that it's better safe than sorry. I know it's kind of risky, but we have a good vet and so far so good and we're hoping that they're somewhat protected now from this disease. Please subscribe.